People ask me all the time, what are the medical risks of getting a tattoo? And if I don't like it, can I get it removed? Well, I see people all over getting tattoos right now, but just because you could be the proud new owner of a new tattoo in a matter of hours, don't let the ease of that stop you from making a responsible decision about permanent body art. If you take steps to protect yourself from the possible risks, what seems cool now won't turn into pain or regret later. A tattoo is a permanent mark or design made on your skin with pigments inserted through little tiny pricks into the top of the skin's layer. Typically, the tattoo artist uses a handheld machine that acts like a sewing machine with one or more needles piercing the skin repeatedly. With every puncture, the needles insert a little tiny ink droplet. The process, which is done without anesthesia and may last for up to several hours for a large tattoo, causes a small amount of bleeding and significant pain. You should know all the risks before you get into that chair. Risk number one, allergic reactions. People don't usually think of this one when they want to get tattoos, but tattoo dyes, especially red dye, can cause everything from allergic skin reactions to life-threatening anaphylaxis. The second thing you got to watch out for is skin infections. Tattoos can lead to local bacterial infections with redness, swelling, pain, and the formation of pus. This could also spread into your bloodstream and cause very serious illness. Tattooing can also lead to keloids, which are extremely hard to permanently remove. If the equipment used to create your tattoo is contaminated with infected blood, you can contract tetanus, herpes, staph, hepatitis B and C, and even syphilis and HIV. Who wants any of that? Something that you probably have not heard of is that you can also get MRI complications. Tattoos or permanent makeup may cause swelling or burning in the affected areas during an MRI. Tattoo inks are classified as cosmetics, so they actually aren't regulated or approved by the FDA. The FDA also does not require a list of ingredients on the inks, so tattoo inks may contain chemicals known to cause cancer and birth defects. The carrier solution of the ink can contain methanol, rubbing alcohol, lead, antifreeze, detergents, or formaldehyde. Even the temporary henna tattoos can contain chemicals that cause a delayed allergic reaction that may permanently make you allergic to sulfur drugs, sunscreens, topical anesthetics, and hair dyes. Okay, I've scared you enough, but what if you have a tattoo and you want to get it removed? There are several ways out there including creams, lasers, and surgery. Tattoo removal creams are widely available online, but there's no evidence that they work. The most common removal technique is the laser technique. There are three main types of lasers that are used to remove the tattoo. There's the Alexandrite, the Ruby, and the NDYAG. There tends to be a little more blistering and scabbing with the NDYAG than the other two lasers. So what the patient will notice is that the skin turns white immediately, which actually lasts a day. Then a bit of skin flaking will occur, and that lasts for a couple of days. There's usually not a lot of bleeding. What people should realize is that the laser tattoo removal isn't a one-time treatment. That's because the lasers do not remove the pigment from the tattoo. What they do is break up the ink into smaller pigment particles, which the body digests from the inside out. If the tattoo was originally applied by an amateur, the removal takes around five treatments. And if it was professionally done, it takes around nine treatments. You can also get a tattoo surgically removed. This is pricey and depends on where the tattoo is on the body. It leaves a scar, but the tattoo is usually 100% removed after that procedure. So after all this information, you do decide to get a tattoo. Make sure they sterilize their equipment or that they use single service equipment. See if they have valid permits on the walls. Always insist that you see your tattoo artist remove a new needle and tube setup from a sealed package immediately prior to your tattoo and insist that you see your new tattoo artist pour the ink into a disposable container. Also, make sure your artist puts on a new pair of disposable gloves before setting up any tubes, needles, and ink supplies. I know a lot of people love tattoos, but before you get one, just remember that that tattoo is forever. I'm your favorite doctor, Dr. Corey A. Bear for BlackHealthTV.com. Thank <laughs> you.